alert. Twitch. Sub. Hello, everybody. I think it's working. We'll see. Ooh, the thunder in the background. You can tell it's going to be a good night when there's a rumble of thunder. Nothing bad ever happens when thunder crashes. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, thank you, Jupiter Cherry, by the way, who subscribed a minute ago. Ooh. That was something happening. Thank you, Decoval. So I uh, I took the time to actually balance my lights a bit. And... Uh, weird, that went yellow. Uh, so the colors actually work much better now. So, uh, yeah, I do have glasses. You didn't hear that, but there was an extremely ominous crash of thunder. Thank you, Morgana Gamer and Decoval. I get the Twitch alert thing up here so I can actually hear. Hey, stream lives. There we go. Uh, thank you, Chloe Red. So that's still set to police. Uh, so yeah, the colors should work much better than they were. I also set up the other lights. So now there's three hue bulbs. There's one right behind me. That one is now there, and then there's one on either side of me here. So the whole room looks much more lit up. Also, <laughs> for the longest time, uh, one of my two key lights here on the desk was actually just stood up in the corner, just leaned against the wall, uh, and I finally attached it to my desk because I figured out that there's a lip of this desk that could hold a uh, one of the clamps. So now it's actually clamped on my desk and it's connected in closer. So it's not illuminating half the room when it's on, uh, which was part of the issue. So for the time being, I'm letting it just kind of run wild with the colors. I'm probably going to make it so it'll be a sub only perk uh, and I might tie it to channel um, points in the future. Thank you, saying Tigris. Um, I should have heard that. Oh, wait. I'm still working on that. Thank you, Ben. Oh. I'm glad you saw that. Thank you, Megan. There we go. Now we have sound. Until I turn something on and then we won't have sound again. Uh, thank you, Thought. Thoth. Gyro. Thoth. Uh. But yeah, so the, for those of you that weren't here last time, the lights are now all hue controlled. Um, they're reacting to subs and cheers with different things. Uh, they don't queue up very well at the moment. So if something comes in, that's the rainbow. That's that's what happens uh, for cheers, I think. Uh, so I need to actually make custom reactions to various things like cheer levels and all that stuff. Uh, but for now, they're just kind of on default stuff. Uh, thank you, Haunted. Thank you, Gamer Girl. Thank you, Janine. Oh, goodness gracious. Car just caught fire. Oldest brother. And Oof. Glad nobody was hurt. Uh, hey, Jackie. I see you're there in the chat, too. Uh, so, yeah, for now, it's kind of the wild, wild west. In the future, I'll get it kind of locked down a little bit more. Uh, you can control it just by saying a color. I think blue yellow hang on i can tell you purple uh it doesn't really stack so if two commands come in at once it's just going to ignore the second one they're only up there for two seconds at a time hey roop can you wear a vr headset with glasses on jackie asked well yes and no uh you can some of them are designed there's, there's standoffs that are designed specifically for that i really don't need to like i can't put this on over this no my glasses will not fit in this but i can actually be okay in vr without my glasses on my uh -huh. this is how you wear glasses i'm definitely glassessing correctly now oh now they're just like they're not sitting on my nose they're just stuck in my headphones there we go uh thank you nerd queen for the gifted sub and thank you i uh yeah, it's, it's quite nice and stormy outside. Uh, thank you, Staren. Thank you, Spade. Uh, but hopefully this isn't 
annoying or distracting for anybody is again it'll be you know much smaller window here in a minute <laughs> and what the heck it's something to play with there's apparently games and things uh, some, that you can hook up to this um oh good i'm glad people are enjoying the toy i got it just for you internet it's around what is today today is thursday yeah okay really lost control over what day and where i am so that means tomorrow is seven days to die stream day which i'm excited about thank you geek dreams thank you myth seeker and a reg um I don't think the ha the police command works. I haven't actually configured animations to work on a command, but that is something that can be done. So I need to like program it. Like, I think I can create my own custom scenes where like it'll go around the room or animate and things like that. I just need to dig into it. I'm just glad that I'm finally getting to a point where the light saturation works without with me still lit, and then that kind of still functions. Uh, thank you, Nibblonians, and Knocking Futs, and Fed Employee. Especially thank you, Fed Employee. Uh, I'm excited for Seven Days as well. I actually, every time I start playing Seven Days, I can't stop. I have to continue playing. So I started a separate world that I just mess around in for no reason other than just kind of explore it. 4% um, away from 69. Oh, <laughs> In the hype train i don't can you get exactly four percent in the hype train i'm not even sure how you add to that <laughs> well you skipped right over it to 72 sorry thank you lane four years i've been doing this for four years that's crazy do my neighbors freak out with the lights that's a good question i don't they're probably i didn't even consider that but i don't there's not really a neighbor that can see that window they don't have any windows on that side of the house. So I think I'm okay. Thank you, Casey Ray and Major Jellybean and James. Let's see what other animations we got here. Because there is, I think there's only a couple other default ones, though. I've got this thing open somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> type reaction. So I can do a reaction. Boy, I, I don't know how it draws a line here, but okay. The options are RGB, flash, rainbow, and transition. Uh, thank you, Zachary. Uh, as soon as this finishes, I'm going to wait until the last cheer that comes in. I'll show you what the options are. Thank you, Shadow. On-stream fidget toy. That's exactly what I was thinking when I got it. It was just like, hey, you can just futz with stuff. I always thought it would be cool for people watching to be able to affect things in this room um, in some way. So that was just like the easiest thing to set up was I can... This doesn't bother me at all, especially because when I'm here, I don't see it, really. Um, and when I've got VR on, I definitely don't see it, so... If it was something that you guys just wanted to play with, then okay, there you go. <laughs> hey, Rico. Apparently, uh, thank you, Pee Wee, for the gifted sub. All right, let's see what the different reactions are. Type reactions, okay. Studio reactions, okay. Uh, there's Rico, okay. So, that was somebody just turning yellow. This is uh rgb which is just as it describes it just cycles through the colors flash is this i don't know some i think some of those may be the green command that just came into then police you've seen rainbow you've seen and this is transition i guess it just pops through a couple different colors and then there's a green oh the flash so, those are the different animations, I, or default ones, I can just program some more in. Okay, wait a minute, here's the, there's also uh, animations, um, so hang on, let me try one of those, wait till that settles down for a second, there's purple, it's purple again. Alright, this is breathe, 
as an animation. It just goes purple and I don't know what it's doing there. Thank you, gorgeous. I was <laughs> trying to make me Remy Tim it up. I can I can make a Remy Tim command. Sure. Uh Rainbow. We've seen Rainbow. And then Yin Yang. I don't know what I was expecting there. It just goes light and then it goes dark. <laughs> and then at the end it goes yellow, it seems to be, with every animation, which is kind of weird. Uh, default lights. Slot 2. Ooh, there's a lot of customization options here, so... I can probably do some interesting stuff with it. Uh, you think it's you? Okay, maybe you're doing the yellow flashes. Okay, I would like to be out of this. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Cancel. There we go. All right. So anyway, that's the... Uh... Oh, is that the log of what's happening? Nice. The chat is yellow. Okay. So that's default now. Is I actually had to pay for the software to be able to have the default color not be something that was kind of saturated. So this is just like, I actually looked up what the hex code for daylight is. And by that I mean daylight colored bulbs. Does it do Crayola colors? I want mac and cheese. Uh, if you can tell me the hex code for it, Jackie, I can absolutely do. I can do any color that the light will reproduce. I just need to know the hex code. What's the hex code for daylight? Uh, it is that. T4DCE5 is the hex code for daylight color. Black is not a command. Sorry, Saiyan Tigress. Uh, <laughs> Jackie, I think it will take a hex input if you put the exclamation in front of it. I don't know. Let me see. It's a, uh, okay, wait a minute. I think I may have had that. It may not be on, though. Chat. Uh, colors. According to Google, that's the, that's the hex code for... Okay, hold on. I will try it, Jackie. I'll make... I'll make mac and cheese. Add color. Hex code. That's an attractive color. Mac and cheese. All right, there's a hex. Now there is a exclamation mac and cheese, which is just kind of a, that's it. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Armadillary. Armadillo Ray. Armadillo Ray. One of the rest of the entertainment doing this pandemic is asthma, high risk. Oh, very, you stay safe. Glad to hear you're doing okay indoors. Uh, Thank you, Ferlin. Yeah, this power is dangerous, I realize. Thank you, Doctor of Philosophy and the Big Dick Bandit and Ed. Mac and cheese, I think, is not really necessarily the prettiest color I've ever seen. <laughs> there it is. This is what it's like to be in a bowl of mac and cheese. <laughs> I've always wondered. Thank you, Gurgos Rar. Uh, the hex code doesn't work. I need to work on that. That's rude. It's rude to say that it doesn't seem like it would be good to be in the middle. Just wanted a food color. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Colors. Can I make it so you can do a hex code? Um, general. Cool down. I don't know that I can make it so you can do a hex code. Wait, listen to colors on. Yeah, no. Uh, thank you, Pandana. And Shadow Silver's Art. Part of me. I'm going to use power for good. The rest of me. How do color aggressively... <laughs> Thank you, Slan. Uh, do color for F when it get F in chat and you you have ambient lighting. Hmm. I wonder what that would be. Be like a sad blue, maybe? 
Thank you, Kyla. I uh, got just from the executive director interview I mentioned yesterday. Say without arrogance. Nailed it. Congratulations, Kyla. That's great. Uh, and thank you again, Harpo, for the gifted subs. Sad blue is a big mood. I don't know what color sad blue would be, though. Thank you, David Icor. Uh, let's see. The lights in my room are always sad blue. What are my thoughts on Valorant? I think it's, uh, I'm really curious to see how that does because it takes a lot of things from an age of gaming that is no longer mainstream. Um, I feel like Riot's never been terribly concerned about making a game that pleases everybody though. I mean, League of Legends is, is kind of a high barrier to entry. Uh, as is Valorant. It's going to be a game where you're not going to walk in off the street and go, man, Valorant is just the game I want to start playing. Um, it's one of those games that uh, you need to unlearn a lot of things that you know about playing video games because you have to come to a complete stop before attempting to fire. So the the all the modern emphasis on move and shoot, you know, Call of Duty, uh, you know, Apex, goodness gracious. Like, I play all the Apex I've played is is my undoing when it comes to uh, that sort of game. Yes, uh, Jackie, to fire, to have any accuracy whatsoever, you have to stand still. So if you're moving, if you're still strafing as you attempt to pull the trigger, you ain't hitting what you're aiming at, which leads to a really ridiculous situation where you have... Two players come around a box at the same time and open up and just pepper the air around the other person. I had that happen so many times the first game I played where I just came around, both me and the other guy were like, I got him! And just were hammering bullets that were going, and I mean, crosshair dead on their head, and the bullets are going everywhere but there. So it is very CS uh, and CSGO, um, so that's how that used to work is you had to be still to have any sort of, uh, chance at accuracy. Um, though it is aggressively that, uh, so any CS player that is used to that is just kicking butt because that's what, that's how they've always played. Uh, for anybody that's used to, uh, I'm going to run and like slide around the corner and go da 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 and keep a, you know, keep the crosshair on them and fire. You ain't hitting nothing. So it's, uh, it's an adjustment. I think they've done some interesting things with the, the balance. It's got, I mean, it's even less accurate on the move than things like Siege, which are designed to be more uh, ish, real world accurate. I think in all honesty, honesty, in all honest, honest, I can't, for some reason, I think I said the word right now, I just can't in, reckon, wrap my brain around it. In all honesty, I think they've gone too far with it. I think you're, oh my goodness gracious, holy moly, six-gun Harlequin. I don't have a flash for that. Uh, The lights just turned red and they didn't come back. <laughs> You just confuse the lights. They don't know what to do. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Six Gun, thank you so much. And Harpo, also thank you so much. The two of you are incredibly, incredibly generous. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Ghost King. Thank you, Psycho Sweetheart. Thank you, Sin Sparrow. And, uh... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. The lights will not catch up to that anytime soon. Thank you, Megan. Shooter game talk. What makes for a good FPS battle royale for you? You've gone from PUBG to Apex Warzone. What stands out? What do you prefer for your battle royales? Um, I think I. Well, and it's funny because I like the for battle royales because you typically have so much ground to cover. I feel like it's the exact opposite of what they're going for with Valorant, where you need to be able to traverse and uh, have combat at the same time because there's just so much out there. And if you had to stop all the time to have any sort of battle, 
it would really slow things down in a way that you don't want things slowed down. Uh, that works for the more tactical games like Valorant, uh, where you just want to, you're always fortifying, you're holding angles, you're just sitting there and making sure that you've covered the areas. Uh, but it doesn't work for Battle Royale. Um, so it's nice when they have a good, quick, like, loot rotation where you don't have to worry about, I think one of the things Warzone did great was you don't futz with, uh, minutia about gun configurations in the game. You can do it and configure your, your loadouts beforehand, uh, but in the game, it's just like, I found a gun, I'm using the gun. There's no swapping out the scope on it or any of that stuff. I think that gets you just right back to playing the game instead of worrying about what your configuration is. You just accept that the gun you've got is the gun you got and you got to use it. Uh, thank you, Butch Rose. Um, so, you know, it's a... Uh, I like that when they can keep you engaged, keep you moving. I like when they don't overcomplicate it. Uh, though every now and again, it's fun to kick back to go from something like Warzone to go back to PUBG where it's a little bit more realistic-esque. Uh esque uh instead of having it be so gamified um but the the games like warzone and games like apex kind of encourage more running around than camping which i feel like you get a lot of in pubg pubg you're gonna want to find a spot hole up in the grass and disappear and just take your shots where you can uh, Apex, you're always on the move. You just move, fight, move, fight. Warzone, same way. You just got to keep in motion. Um, so I'm not saying necessarily that one's better than the other. It's just sometimes when you're in the mood for one, sometimes the other. Thank you, the mystical goat. Thank you, uh, uh oh, man. These are all brightness on here. Okay. Uh, I think I've answered all the questions. Valorant got potential. I hope maybe they. They dial down the the wildness of the aim just a little bit would be nice. Because I think they've gone too far to unrealistic. They it's now gone to like <laughs> there's the mac and cheese color. Uh it's in Valorant right now, your move to shoot is so off that it's unrealistic. Like I can walk slowly around a corner and hold a target you're not making me feel like I'm, I'm more engaged by making it me come to a dead stop so that every firefight turns into this. This is the difference by shooters. Warzone, you've got people moving around like this, and shooting, blah, 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 Apex, same thing. This is what happens in, in Valorant right now is... <clears throat> and the people with, that are good shots, they're going to shoot you in the brain on that first bullet. And you go down. That's it. You're you're done. It's not like hip fire bad. It doesn't even matter. Aim down sight, hip fire. You don't hit it if you've moved. Thank you, Harpo. My gosh. Thank you, Pack Monster. Uh take my pan, which is both super armor and super weapon, and get the chicken dinner all real some. Uh I wonder if I could configure something for certain, like, numbers of... I'll have to really look into that. How many... Like, can I do sub-bomb special animations with the lights, or... It's funny, because um, I think... I don't know if Meg has got the setup yet or not, but she had noticed one of her favorite streamers uh, that does the dancing. What's her name? Um, has a setup like this... Uh, but uh, and had asked me about how to do it, and uh, I hadn't really done any research on it. So now I've got it set up. So I'll have to tell her I, I got it working. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> I look like a tech geek from the future. Well, funny you should mention that because we're working on a a tech show. We'll see how and when that happens. Looks like a tech geek. Um. Uh, no, Meg has them, but don't run her setup for him. Yeah, I don't either. I think she probably she's probably ahead of me on that. Uh, thank you, Gorgeous. Is your PC going going to live through VR and chat up together today? I don't know. I was actually trying to, like, turn some stuff off. I think I'd, I'd just do for a full uh, 
wipe of this computer because I'm sitting at 26% memory usage when it's doing nothing, which I can't imagine what is using 4.2 gigs of memory right now with nothing happening. That's too much. There's resources going places that I don't want them going. And a lot of it's just Windows, blah, blah, blah. Uh, especially that Antimal service executable, which is a real hog all the time, which is some built-in Windows garbage. Uh, I don't want to go to Linux. Just download more RAM. Oh, yeah, let me just throw it into download some more RAM. Uh, hey, Rico Pineapple, um, for the sub, I'm, oh, boy, I don't know that I will, uh, be done getting alerts on those subs for like the first hour or two of the stream, so, I may have just broken it, hmm, alerts are life now. They're still popping up, but they're not popping over here. Interesting. I've broken it. I've broken it on uh, my s gaming PC. So, in the sense that I'll hear the new ones, but I won't. I'll hear ones to say thank you to any new one. Right now, the you're going to lose the on screen for quite a while. All right, let me get the game rolling here. Now that we've played with the lights for a while, we've talked about video games for a while, I really need to make another podcast for talking about video games. Yeah, another podcast. I do miss it, you know. Just, we have, I haven't done like a, the patch in a long time. <laughs> there you go, Pack Monster. The patch 3.0 glitch, please more. <laughs> well, I mean, there's also a reason that we don't have one now, and it's not because it was wildly successful. So <laughs> it was just doing too well. <laughs> okay, I can close that. Make it audio only. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Rose Crimson. It's hard to do in, in seasons like this because right now all the games are delayed. Nothing's coming out. Um, I feel like we've been kind of a in a dry space for video games for a little while now. I mean, we had Doom and you know Animal Crossing, things like that coming out. But it's not like we've been hit with titles on a weekly basis for quite a while. Thank you, Game Nerd. At least not titles that are necessarily appealing to what I do. Uh, thank you, Game Nerd. All right, let's see. Push the on button. A dry spot, you know. It is actually chilly in this room, and I love it. Uh, largely because we had the storm come through, so it has actually been colder today. There we go. Thank you, Commander Lady and Fortis Draco. Okay, that's on. That's on. That's waking up. Concerned eyebrow. Does it look worse with the glasses in the mac and cheese world? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Corvus de Luna. All that mac and cheese. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn the chat back on. And hopefully we'll just not, you know, 
choke my CPU out again. I want to build a new computer so bad, but it isn't just no. Well, one, you can't even get parts for a like a ninth gen Intel at this point. They're all bought out. There's just no CPUs available on the market. Um, so even though there are some pretty solid processors in there, though they did just release a. Uh, here's a little bit more tech talk. Sorry, uh, Intel did just drop their. Uh, I think as of a couple days ago, some new laptop CPUs which are breaking the five gigahertz, uh, gigahertz mark, um, which is really good for a laptop. <laughs> uh, thank you, Alertrin and Pack Monster. Zombie Ashley, <laughs> which could be. Gigahertz. Gigahertz does sound cooler. Sounds like it cares more, let's be honest. Uh, we'll have to see if I can actually really see with these on <laughs> don't break my again. i assume we are getting pretty close to the end of this game but i'm not 100 percent sure all right let's start flipping all the switches here that's minimized that's minimized now the game's running. Move the mouse off the screen. Mute this mic. Mute that mic. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Ooh, that was very loud. Uh, thank you, Space Bomb Leia. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why that went super loud. I haven't changed anything on this mic. I'm backing away, though. Um, I can't tell if we're getting game audio or not, though. I feel like we're not. Hmm. Let's see if we hear the ding ding when I ring the bing bing. There it is. Goodness gracious! Six gun, you're out of control. Thank you so much. The game right now is just going bing. And then you hear the AC in the back, is what you're hearing. I can actually try and put a noise filter on that. I don't know if it'll work or not, but... Filters. Noise gate. Right, let's try noise suppression. Alright, does that get rid of some of it? Probably still hear it when I talk. Again, thank you so much, uh, Six Gun. I really, really, really appreciate you. So that probably cuts down on the, uh, it does a weird thing. So whenever you have no noise suppression or a noise gate, a lot of times what happens is it's great when nothing's happening. But then as soon as I start talking, you hear it behind me. Yeah, and the voice may be a little bit more modulated or underwatery. Thank you, Commander Letty, for the Tier 3 sub. But, if that's, do you prefer this or do you prefer the Rumble? I can actually kill the Rumble for a while because it's pretty cold in here right now. Thing is, when it doesn't, when it's not cold in here, uh, then I fog up the lenses. Let's see if I can see. Oh, I should turn on my hands. Uh, thank you, Ordis. Uh, there's no, right now the sound is just like, bing, thank you, Capers. I think you do have it, it's just not making a lot. 
Let's see if you hear that. I don't have hands. No, you don't. Weird. I got it there. Why is it not? No valve sound. I see it here. Oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. Nope. I don't know why. I don't know why. Abandoned ship, I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, now I remember why. There we go. Okay. Yeah, now we got it. I was just on the wrong profile. Tell me why he ain't nothing but a honey. Tell me why. Oh, I can see the chat. Hmm. Terry! Holy moly, man. AMD for the win? Ah, oh, I know, they're killing it with multi-threaded performance. And you roll up in here and drop that on me, and I'm almost tempted to buy one, but damn, I don't like them for gaming. I would honestly, I would use an AMD for my stream machine in a heartbeat, but it's fine. Um, it's just for gaming PC that I don't want to do. Thank you so much, Terry. Goodness gracious, everybody's been so incredibly generous tonight. Well, and on that note, <laughs> don't forget, tonight we're doing two more $25 gift card giveaways, uh, which the my wonderful mod team are incredible at handling. Um, I've been doing those uh, not every night, because sometimes I, f I forget to set up for it. But uh, we'll do two more, and is for a while if it helps people hopefully it gets to someone that needs it i know it's not a lot but you know it's a little every little bit helps hopefully uh thank you brandon the alien and harpo <laughs> i don't know that it means much to be discord friends with me because it's not like i do much with discord other than work okay let's see hmm yeah, it turns out that I am still blind, even in VR. <laughs> so, let me see if I can at least make it bigger so I can read it. There we go. Now can I see? I had to take my contacts out because they were giving me a headache. I can sort of read it. There we go. Okay. I can. I can. It's, it's fuzzy, but I can see, which is weird because I can read this. Like the, you can't see it, can you? No. Wait, yeah, you can. I can read the in-game UI just fine. All of this looks sharp. The game looks sharp. I can read the titling up there. Everything is, is sharp but this. I wonder if it's just like... It's very strange. You can see it? What can you see? VR is weird because so much of that is like... Like, the, how it's rendered is, is very unusual. Okay. Now, is everything working? Am I good to resume the game? Why can't I... I don't... Yeah, you can't see the fuzzy, fuzzy thing. This is where the chat is. I've got it, like... So, it only shows up... The way it works is it projects it into the world. And I've got it attached to my left wrist like a watch. So when I flip my wrist over, so it's an invisible to be here, but if I flip my wrist over, it's it's on there. It's like I have a giant watch face that uh, that I can see the chat on. Again, all of this is perfectly clear. Whoa. 
It's so strange. Why can I read this? All right, where were we? Remember there was the room that it took me a while to remember how to blow up. It's running, I, I can't even get it to stay up for long enough for me to walk. It's not running great, guys. Uh, there we go. That being said, this is actually pretty labor intensive for the computer because not only is it rendering an additional layer on top of the game, but it's having to 3D track it constantly into position on my wrist. So I might be able to get around this by instead of having it there, if I just place it in the world somewhere like I used to do, um, which I might be able to try real quick. Nope, I can't bring up the thing right now. Uh, thank you, Bambi, for the gifted sub there. Hey, it's Beck McGee. Whoa, oh, God, it did work, and there it is. <laughs> which you guys can't see, but... Window list. Bring to me. Okay, what if I just... Uh, I want to unpin it. Okay. So now that's all gone. Uh, where's front? This is front. I'm dead. I killed myself. <laughs> ah! Okay. Window settings. Okay. Uh, spawn new window. And chat. Okay, there's the chat window. Whoa. Okay, so now the chat's right there. And then I can make it so that it's not visible where I'm not looking. I'm going to stick my hand in the I load the wrong save? That would suck. That's pinned in the world. Okay. I'm going to turn my fan off real quick before I continue making these adjustments so I don't just chop my fingers off. <laughs> okay. I put it right there. We're still on the same save. Unfortunately, it isn't disabling the in game stuff. While I'm doing this, oop. So, buttons still do the same thing. Uh, pin window, yeah. Okay. Um, opacity. Nope, stop it. Frame rate, let's take it to 30. Visibility, hide when not looking. There it is, okay. So now, I can see it only when I'm looking at it, and only when I'm looking forward. It seems to be rotating around me, which is kind of interesting. Okay. All right. I can see it. You can see it all the time. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, let me fix that. I wonder why it gotten so squat, too. There we go. Why are you so small now? <laughs> oh. Now I can't read it no more. It got small. Uh, can I make it bigger? Larger. There we go. There we go. Hey, no, I can see that, Jackie. There we go. Good, good. It's all fixed. That's, I don't know why I expected you being noticed to change your behavior. <laughs> okay. I think it's all good. I still, you know, have trouble reading it a little bit. 
But I think you guys can see things. That guy, what is? The, the Terry alert just hit. <laughs> well then, all right. Whew. Yeah, it was a ways in there. All right. Now again, the only problem is I have to look up to see things, so I may miss stuff. My bad. But this is running way better. So, also, I gotta remember where the thing is. Sorry, it was a little loud. I apologize for that. Um, again, because of the way I have this set up right now, uh, you guys hear it coming through with the game audio instead of uh, on a, a separate slider, which is what I usually have. But hey, you got to experience that with me. I too jumped. So, there you go. Turn more of this so I can keep the chat in my sight. Ooh, what's this? A battery? Yeah, 12 volt. <laughs> Very terrifying. Boo! That was, that was a good turn of phrase. You did a good job there. I'm sorry I booed you. I mean, I feel like that kind of joke is designed to be booed. That's what it's there for, but it was actually quite clever. Ugh. Puff, puff, pass. It is, however, working far, far better, so. One of those guys is going to get up, right? Oh. Ah, these things are so gross like this. That's not what I was looking for. Give me the bullets. I think we've actually gotten to a quiet spot in the cheers. Uh-oh. There it is. Well, here's an issue. Hang on. There we go. Oh, sorry. Uh oh. See? I knew they were dead. Uh. Thank you. Yeah, it's Dobby. is pretty good for killing most stuff, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'll eat this a place. That guy was loaded. That's not what I wanted. I wanted that. I feel like when it flies from that far away, I, I reflexively do this to catch it just because it seems like it's flying at me. chat. Can you wear the hard hats? I don't know. We turned out we could wear the mask. Doesn't seem like it. Eh. Don't think so. You can. Alright, well, dang it. I'm trying. Oh, I mean, I look real dumb. Wear it harder. Uh, uh. <gasps> I got it! Can you guys even see it? Yep, a little bit. There you go. Milady. Ooh, can I wear this too? 
I feel like this would actually be very useful to wear if it would let me. So it can let me wear this cosmetic thing, which serves no purpose, but not this very important gas mask, which would protect me from all these evil spores. Uh, put it on my face. Uh. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> Am I safe from spores now? <laughs> hmm. See, turns out if you complain about some things, they actually work. Don't take that lesson. That's not a good lesson. Uh, do I solve this with gunfire? That's always the question. Can't look at the wrist. Thank you, Nutmeg. I see you in there. Aha! I'm the wrong side. All right. Let's solve this puzzle. Come on, come on. All right. That's up there. Nope, not there. It's got to be something we can shoot around here. Oh. Forget you gotta look for this wood sometimes. I'm really excited to see if this mask works on spores. Put the box down, sir! That, not that. That. So that's the one in the chamber, right? So I'm not actually wasting a bullet by doing that. Show me that underbelly. There we go. Hmm. That does not look like safety. Opa. And yep. Ah, there we go. And I wanted to do that for reasons, I'm sure. Where's my chat window? There it is. Thank you, Lois. Welcome back. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's plugged up. Okay, that's up and down over there. I can't really tell what this is doing. Okay, it's just jammed. All right. Definitely going over there at some point. Let's see what we got in here. No, nope. let's not see what we got in there. Let's see what we got in here. coming for me. Woo, these are getting hard. Again, why are they harder as you go? Who was doing such a shitty job of installing security systems at the beginning of the game? Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, I hope he got fired. I hope he got fired and eaten by a head crab. Oh, I hope he got eaten by a head crab while being fired. Huh. Ah. Ah! I can just let go. It's safe when I'm not touching it. Whoa! Whoa! Let me get to the darn thing! Whew! Okay. That's it. I have full health and no wrist slots. You disappoint me. Alright, so that needs to get loose. Again, which brings us to the question of, do I shoot it? Because I got a gun. I'm not afraid to shoot it. Nope, oh, there went the hat. Oh well. That needs to be loose so that this can move. Oh, wait a minute. What do we got here? Aha! Butterfingers. There we go. Okay, so now I can walk through there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me that belly. Are you gonna walk over here first? Okay. You missed. I didn't. Okay, that's loose. Now where do I want this to be? Do I want it down or if I go up? Can I go under it? I'm going to assume that needs to be up so I can go under it. We'll try that first. <clears throat> Raw smash! Rah! Oh, okay. Hi, guys. Well, that is easier. Thanks. really splash too much, which is great. They're much easier to kill once you get a leg off. Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah. 
Okay. I don't know what else I can really upgrade at this point. I don't think I have all that much resin anyway. Uh. Thank you, Lois. Oh, I'm glad you'd be here. Uh, laser sights already on extended magazine would be great, but I only have twelve, so I, there's literally nothing I can afford. Onward. Anything on there? Nope. Just evil, ancient, maw, doom, and despair. Look, I got my grenade launcher. What else do I need? It's either on Bert. Where did all my bullets go? This room thing was almost full. Oh, I shot the dangly bits. You dead? Good. Alright, well, there's definitely something over here. Maybe not. There's a secret area or something down there that I didn't go. Let's see if I get to it. So far this game has not really had a lot of secret areas though, so things that I thought might be secret areas usually just turn out to be the place that I, I'm, you're going to end up in a minute. I can't get back over there though. I see some bullets right there. No! That's a whole puzzle wrapped in a quandary. These don't work. Okay, if I dropped it back down now, which I can't get over there. What is that? It's caution. Oh, well, there's a real life lesson there. I mean, I could shoot it, I suppose. I don't know if that even works. Well, it does. It's a fast way to spend a lot of bullets, though. Not necessarily on the guarantee that I can actually get over there. Whoa! Uh, hi, Brick! Nah, oh well. Yeah. I don't want to go there. Yeah. Okay, well now I've created a problem. Thing. Move! Yeah. Worked out better than I thought it would. Heh. <laughs> Onward! That's a good noise. That's going to be something fun in a minute. Just going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh! 
Ok. Uh oh. Okay. Burst for that. Nope, not that. But yeah, we'll get that. that didn't and that's the one that counted I think the least you guys could have done was give me a clip you guys never reload you know after the war I'm gonna come and, oh okay just gonna buy this van but I guess okay here, hold on Ow! Dude! I got one of those too. I don't feel like that's working too well. Okay. Um. You're a terrible shot. Seriously, man, it's like stormtroopers. Ooh. This guy over here, he's playing the Lord. He's clearly been moving. Okay. Boop. You can have that back. Oh, still got friends, huh? Okay. That was it. Porter potty. Whoops. Stop putting those down. Bad. Ridiculously overhyped feature from a AAA title from a couple years ago. Do I recognize that game? Division. There it is. <laughs> in the news. 
This is a ridiculously large newspaper. And it's floppy. Mmm, I don't speak this language. The Black Mesa disaster. Good thing they put English at the top. It's probably not how that works typically. There, there. Your life makes mine better. On the upside, I can now see my health. <laughs> okay, Aya speaks it. What does that say? Yonik blifme kto ble. I can't. I can't look at it and at the thing. Uh, I'm trying to hold it and see chat at the same time. Oh wait, I can just do this. <laughs> Somebody's name. Who are you? We don't know. It's interesting that they would actually use real uh, language in this and not just have it be some kind of gibberish. What is that? That's no, a broken thing. Uh, thank you, Fakuma! Has to be ammo in there, right? Also, uh, there was a single clip for a pistol in there. Which is not, as you would imagine, very much. Ooh, but here's another one. Got anything in there? Yeah. All right. Three max left. Four max left. Uh, thank you, Mimphy. The other weird thing about my vision in VR, which is again, I can see pretty well, because you got to think, I'm looking at a screen that's an inch in front of my eye, so for the most part, this is all rendered in a way that I could pretty much see it. I can see the textures on the wall and everything. Thank you, Triton. But when it renders in the chat window, it's like I'm actually looking at something from the distance away that I'm standing relative to it. So it's projecting it and focusing it uh, as if it was a certain distance away from my eye. So I can literally walk up closer to it and read it. Uh, whereas if I walk back here, then it gets blurry. I'm not wearing my glasses for anybody that's joined us recently. Um, so things are actually blurry to me on the chat window, but not in real VR. I could play VR like this without glasses on, no problem. Trying to read, though, hard. Thank you, Penguin. Once opposed to seeing that eye. That's awesome, Penguin. Hope your eye does better. I'm glad to hear your eye is doing better. Let's put it that way. That was exactly what I didn't want to do. This is why I don't like burst mode, is I don't have that much ammo. There it is. They break. Wish Raccoon would jump out of the dumpster. I mean, that would be really funny. Hey, Aya. Just ask here to help. Thank you, Aya. I don't run into too many things written in Russian, but I'm glad that we now have a translator on hand. In fact, this may be the first time that I've run into anything in Russian. What's that there? Alright, got it. Those beams are coming from the top of this tower, right? Yeah, that's right. I 
really like that. That's really cool. I like the detail there where those light up as it goes in, too. I haven't watched it. That's not where the chat is no more. Uh, I don't even see what that was. So, Oh, there we go. Shadow. Thank you, Shadow. I remember the cookies. I know this whole game's been in Russian. I meant, like, aside from playing Half-Life Alex, I don't run into too much Russian in video games or in streaming. But I'm not precluding it from happening. I'm just saying it is a very unique skill set that doesn't get called for often, but I'm glad that we have some backup when it does. Okay. Oh. Okay, chat, you guys are right where that guy is. <laughs> Thank you, Brick. That's not good. I uh, can't see. Can't see. to ask if he was dead. That sort of answered the question for me. Come on. Ah. Give me the gun. There. Some bullets down there that I want. What's up, bullets? Why am I here? This isn't where I need to be. Oh, maybe. Turned out it was where I needed to be. There we go. Whoop! Thank you, Jedi! I think Jedi's in there. Again, my reading not great right now, but I apologize. Ow, ow, that was right in the eyeball. Stop shooting me in the eyeball! I'm only sorry that you died before you blew up. fire and siege, I would be way better. Clearly. There's a control room. I see it. We're almost there. Surely that's a thing, where people have been in situations where they're like, well, I know he's around the corner, so I'll just blah, 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 blah. Why would I look? Then cert there's certainly been a situation thereafter where the guy was like, ah, you got me, I'm so dead. And then Whoa. Ow, my insides. Whoop. Hey, thanks, gorgeous. Uh, you're going to have to start deadpooling the bullets and letting the enemy share. No kidding. Whew. Oh, there's a big guy. I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Good shotgun. That's not bullets. That would have been great. Oh, there it is. 
one of these like, puzzles where I have to use this thing? No, I guess not. Can I get over there? Oh. What's up, bro? You got something for me? Yeah, you do. Nice. Last one. Reloaded. Reloaded. I can just see there. I should. There we go. Always look for these boarded up doors. Alex, you there? Yeah, Dad. It looks like you will be able to get into the vault from up there. There's a terminal that extends a bridge to the entrance. What's the security like inside? I kind of don't know in front of me, and I'll tell you. There is security. But I've never seen anything like it. That doesn't make any sense. I guess I'll have to improvise. Thank you so much for sticking with it, Lois. Sorry it's been such a rough time. And thank you, Jedi, for the tier two sub. I appreciate that. Anything else in here? You see anything? You need a toilet? Nope. Always got checked, though. Guns. Time to go rescue the savior of humanity. You know, honey, you haven't been doing too bad yourself. Earth Damn right. right. The seven hour war. Maybe we have last of eight. All right. Looks like the bridge is fully extended. Just need to gently dock the vault to the bridge. How far can that be? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> has to bring in the vault for dock. Right. Why are there eight oh levers God. if there are only four directions? Immediately. Uh, maybe? No, not that one. Alex, the bridge isn't moving. Why isn't the bridge not moving? I know. Russ, I can see it not moving. Whoa. That was a bad lever. That was a bad lever. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Yeah, maybe the war would have lasted six days. Oh, thank you, Beck. Or sorry, it was Gus, by the way. That was the last one. Glad you should be here, Beck. Back into the world where I can't see. Oh, right, I forgot about the lights. <laughs> it's such not a part of my reality when I'm in there. It, Lin Jedi? Uh, hey, Jedi. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. No. Nah. I think I just killed Gordon Freeman. The vault's right there. Just go in and get him. What's left of him? I'm on my way. Really would have tried to figure out a way to push that over. Uh, they brick. Yeah, I may have killed George Foreman. We'll never have a world filled with his fat drained meats. Oh, good. This one's got the bug in it. I've missed so many secrets all of a sudden. 
The game went from having no secrets to having all kinds of areas that you have to do special stuff to get to. Go hard. Yay. Let's go back underground. That solves all the problems. Oh, I didn't get his tank. There it is. to win at you easily and you are really designed for me to do it ultimately so let's just work together here let's get off my hand that evil dandelion not the character from the witcher that's dandelion depending on which audiobook you're reading Thank you, Aya. If I go to the results of the elections for my sorority and I'm running for a five position, I'm very nervous. It's gotta be fine, relax. But good luck. I hope you do well. Don't be nervous. Are you look deactivated though? Lucky break there. Could you imagine that thing blocking your way? It's gonna block my way now. Things could always be worse. You could be in a tunnel filled with a enemy soldiers and giant aliens with caution signs on them. I mean, just think about life that way. It doesn't help. <laughs> Boy. Flashlight would be great. Right. Power 
went through there. Which usually means that there's another little box somewhere that I have to tweak. Yeah, that's all good. Maybe that was the wrong thing. I don't see any other outputs here. Yeah. Did this turn? All right, that was already sparking, so this did nothing. Turn on that wire to go through there. There's something up there. Push it up. All right. <laughs> ah, God, it's in my head. Ow, ow. Ah. That was a very unusual puzzle. for a walk away. Looks good. Uh, thank you, Book Griffin. the lift button. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Like constantly. Like a whole room over there that I never went in. Can I jump on top of this thing's head? Uh, thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for the gifted subs. Staying here. I'm gonna go. I can't open this anymore. So that's bad. Um. Uh, oh, oh, that there goes some of the wall. Close, close, close. Whew. You gotta learn to run. I don't wanna be the one to tell you this, but ow. Whew. Hey, did you leave? Nope! Good to know. Oh! 
Whoa! No! Reload! Woo! Didn't mean to actually use that. Oh well. Thank you, I don't know, Blue. Got him. Oh, he had a friend. Pretty awesome music. Okay, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! You're ruining the drywall! position to do this. You guys totally can't see what I'm about to do, but it's going to be awesome. Okay. I can't believe that worked. Lethal weapon didn't lie to me. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, right? I even I'm impressed with me on that one. Thank you, Breck. You do have to be careful. <laughs> oh! Okay. Stop. Put that away. Shoot this guy! I've got a hostage! There are times when I wish my camera could see my floor a little bit better. <laughs> because the sheer ridiculousness of what I just did uh, looked probably way cooler in VR than it looked as a human with me with my feet up against the back wall of my... Ugh, of my room here rolling over on the floor. But in VR, you gotta be honest, that looked really cool. I don't know where chat went. I'm lost. <laughs> There it is. Any other trunk? You got nothing for me? No? Okay. Need a lot more bullets. 
I've been super extreme tonight, and it's cost me a lot of shots. Uh, thank you, Brick, for the gifted subs. <laughs> it really expected me to take a lot more hits than I did. Tricks. Ow. Oop. Where am I going here? Where am I going? Up and around. Go, go, go. That's the kind of wall that blows apart when he shoots it. Oh, that's a bathtub. Ow. as to where the safe spot was there. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't need this. Well, yeah, kind of. Sounded a little weird there. I don't know if I should be worried about that. So I just, uh, like jumping that or? Probably not. Hey, Brick. All right, Alex. Well, there we go. Beam over there. Looks like it'll get you up to the vault. You got it. This is like it's in Halo. Truth and reconciliation. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, gorgeous. Ah. Oh, all my stuff. 
All my stuff! Guns that I spent so long carefully manicuring. <laughs> it's a trap! Admiral Akbar says, It's a trap! Ooh, an upgrade. Point extraction. Okay, this is weird. But Correct. I don't know, it doesn't look too dangerous. Hey, Prince Kelly! Mr. Shadow Guy. It's also really weird that I'm walking and turning in spot. is a lot to hold one Gordon Freeman. I realize he went to their universe and killed their, like, baby mom with the giant head. But still, to prison him in a D&D &D dice, I feel like that's a critical fail on his part. That's weird. That is so weird. Oh, that's messing with my head a little bit. Cute. Thanks, Brick. You know, maybe you should have jumped over there, kind of platformed it. That doesn't look like that's gonna work. Boy, reality sure is broke. Yeah, I was just checking his mail. Weird. 
weird. Gravity is so weird. <laughs> I'm going to construct a rudimentary catapult. Missed it. Bonk. <laughs> Something heavier. Oh, that would do. Maybe not. Oh, how about the book? Hmm. Weird. The pack of cigarettes was the heaviest thing in the room. That's a metaphor. Ow. Thank you, Mr. Hack. Whoa. There, now I can defend myself against wine and uncouth social situations. No good. What do we got in the bathroom? Lost it. Ah, over here. Okay. Thank you, Microbile. Hey, happy to do it. Tell me that my replacement is I learned the force. Can you use you as a batter ram? <laughs> okay, that didn't work out at all. Woo! Hey guys. I got a little problem with guns in that I don't have any. So if you could just all shoot each other and say it was me, that would be great. Just think about it. I'll be there in a minute. Creepy doors in this universe. Oh good, it's the Twilight Zone. This is some mind bending shit. Are things connected? No. Whew. Thank you, the net rack. Okay. 
Hit through the hole. Woo! Time to brush that teeth. Brush, 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 brush. In the toilet. All of this in the toilet. In the toilet. Toilet, toilet. Flush, flush. No! Come on, everything else works in this game. Damn it! Guess they're out of water. Scruffy dude to Scruffy died in the turret. Make it sangria. Uh oh. Don't tell me the toilet's actually the way out. No, there we go. Well, they've done a really interesting job of creating Topsy Turvy World. Ah. Oh. Give me that baguette! That's a chair. I got one down here. Oh, snap. This looks delicious. Batter up! Nope. Thanks, Brick. Good thing gravity doesn't work on me. Take me. Oh. A leap of faith. about me getting in or that getting out. They built some really crumbly reality in here. I don't know what this is doing, but I think I'm learning the force. and the real world attacked me. <laughs> the lamp seems to be fine, which is good because, again, it cost $8, so sturdy it is not. <laughs> now there goes the red. I may have to reactivate my fan here. It's on button. 
we don't make too much noise. Good. <laughs> the light bulb's fine. LEDs are pretty robust. They all seem to still be working. Yeah, there we go. Now we'll take away your new toy right after giving it to you. Thank you, Talon. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Missed! <laughs> and toss. Wah. Oops, not good. Uh oh. Not good, not good, not good. Run! G give me the glowy death beam. Uh oh. Running low on glowy death beams. Not on grenades, though. Be a love and hold on to that for me. Uh oh. Meep, meep! Saving this one for the first guy to get my way. All right. Out of my way, KFC bucket. <gasps> so many grenades. Got him. This is the best day ever. Watcha! That was a good one. I need another bomb. Hey, hold on, let me get another bomb. Good thing you guys built this hallway with lots of grenades. Not enough grenades. Well, maybe. Ooh. Oh, that looked good. That looked real good. This is the best game ever. You gotta get out of the way here. 
Oh, these don't run out. Waha! cooler if I actually hit somebody. It's really hard to aim at this distance. Scally. That's what I was going back for right now, actually. He's over here in the hallway. Might have been further up this way. Where'd that bug go? Must have been way back here. I was saving it until the fight was over. Oh, I'm just lost. Maybe brother, there he is. Iron Man. <laughs> None dare stand in my way. A classic Iron Man quote. Uh oh. No. Oh, oh, my, oh, my stuff again. Man. Keep getting robbed. smaller die inside the bigger die. It's the smoking guy! Alright, Gordon. Let's get you out of this thing. important as what I can offer you in exchange for coming home this way. Some believe the fate of our world is inflexible. My employers disagree. They authorize me to nudge things in a particular direction from time to time. What would you do, Miss Van? Combine off Earth. I want the Combine off Earth. Uh, that would be a considerably large margin. To which 
given the interests of my own world. Well, you asked. What if I could offer you something? You Thanks, Brick. No. We'll see. So <clears throat> Good. as a consequence of your action, this entity will continue, and this entity will die. Right. So he's okay, right? He lives. My dad lives. You are away. That you've proven yourself to be of extraordinary value. A previous hire has been unable or unwilling to perform the tasks laid before him. We have struggled to find a suitable replacement until now. No! I, I just want to go home. Send me home! I'm afraid you misunderstand the situation, wizards. Wait! Hey, wait! 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 Ooh. God, man, how does this tie into Half-Life 2? I'm so this was supposed to bridge the two. Make sure to stay after the credits? Okay. But she's in two. Unless she's, like, sucked through time or something. Watch the post-credits. Okay. I gotta say, it's an awesome game. All the way through, it was a lot of fun. Just changed the ending of episode two. Interesting. But that would have happened before episode two. I would love to think that post-credits means that they are actually going to follow this up with a sequel of some kind, because that would be amazing. My only concern is that they can only move so many units in this game because they don't even... They can't even stock uh, the, the hardware to sell it. Eli, I was the end of the latest Leaf uh, Half-Life 2 game, so they just retcon that. That's true. Half-Life 2, Episode 2, right? Uh, thank you, the Netsrack. 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 Thank you, Malia. Quarantine cooking stream in the future? I've, I've been thinking about it, yeah, actually. There might be. I still need to do a cooking stream for uh, Extra Life, which is the making the sandwich, the ultimate sandwich from Sky Factory 4. So I will probably be putting that together pretty soon. Thank you, Joseph. Cook with what's in my fridge. Oh, man. See, I still go to the store and stock up every week, pretty much into the character returning after a long time, about a week after this release, so people are back in the Half-Life 3 kick. Oh, man. Poor Jake. 
Alright, this is, I think, the post-credits now, hopefully. Tease me with that. I was Gordon Freeman for like 12 seconds. Probably not even that. <sighs> okay, I don't see him making, honestly, I don't think what that is is a lead into Half Life 3. I think what that is, because I'm going to temper my expectations here, that is a lead into a VR title called Half Life. Gordon, right? That way they can just keep saying that they're not making Half-Life 3. And, uh... And continue to not make Half-Life 3. <laughs> oh, Half-Life Freeman. Yeah, that could be it. Close this down inside the game. Let's see. Games. Those are games tab. Let's start to get very quick. Whoop. <laughs> These just snap on, so they also snap off. Sometimes at awkward moments. What? Woo! Ah. Half Life Three out of spite. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think Valve is concerned about spiting anybody at this point. But what I will say is, of all the. Um, there have been two heavy-hitting VR titles uh, just in the past, like, year. Mm -hmm. This, Half-Life Alex, which is definitely uh, pretty kick-ass. And then uh, the Saints and Sinners game from uh, Walking Dead was also really, really good. Hold on just a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, though I didn't play too much of that one. It looks weird with the glasses. That's a very strange combination. <laughs> if you haven't played any of the Half-Life series, though, I do recommend it. Even though I'm, I've actually been curious to try out. No sound. Okay. Wait, no sound? Can you not hear me talking? No, we have sound. No, I have sound. We hear. Okay. Um, there ha there's a game that came out uh, that is kind of like a... It started as a fan-made production. Um, winners have been chosen. It can be found on Discord. Thank you, and thank you. Congrats to the winners uh, for the, the gift card giveaway. Uh, I'll keep doing that. So, if you didn't win tonight, don't worry about it. Uh... But there's a, uh, a game called Black Mesa, uh, which came out mm, a while ago. Uh, but it started as like a fan mod to just recreate Half-Life 1 and the Half-Life 2 engine. Um, and it looks like they're selling it now. So it's actually, I guess, embraced by Valve to some degree. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. It looks really good. 
Uh, I'm seeing some people say that it is really good. Uh, is it a faithful retelling of the Half-Life story? Or um, development for 13 years and was supported by Valve. That's awesome. Uh, so that might be a kind of a good way to get in on uh, the story. Uh, and uh, that way you uh, you don't have to play it looking like it did. It's changed a little bit. Valve legitimized it. That's good to hear. Um, but because uh, the original definitely looks dated graphically now, though not as bad as you might think. Uh, they they did a great job with it when it was first created. It holds up fairly well. Um, I need to go back and replay them, uh, to be honest, because a lot of it I don't even remember. I have to get i remember the story from one very well because i played that a lot um and uh but i don't remember too much about what happened in episode actually half-life 2 is a little bit of a a, a, a black hole for my memory as well so i need to refresh myself on all those because i played all the other ones a lot more uh Yeah, the Black Mesa reworked Zen since the original Zen was pretty bad. The original Zen was a little bit odd. But, I mean, I guess it was an alien landscape, so what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, but, obviously, I uh, I liked I liked that game enough to have played the whole thing on stream, which a lot of times I'll, I'll dip in for a stream or two and then, then dip out. Uh, I don't know what's next, honestly. Um... I got the, guess I got the weekend to figure that out. I have sweaty cheeks. Um, I haven't really. Maybe I'll try Black Mesa for an episode just to see how it uh, how it looks. <laughs> Animal Crossing. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. I think we're going to have. We might. We're a little unsure what we're doing with Final Fantasy VII because it's uh. Dimitri said no, but I'm not sure what Dimitri is saying no to. Uh, I, I think, yeah, Final Fantasy VII I don't want to do on stream because it's really, 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 really long. Thank you, Brick. Um, That's for Animal Crossing. Don't worry, I'm not that interested in playing Animal Crossing. Fable. Ooh, talk about a game that didn't hold up. <laughs> um, but uh, Final Fantasy VII, we, I think Fun House is doing a stream in it tomorrow uh jackie i start to think you probably just say you love everything that i if i say something bad about a game you, you're immediately just gonna call me on it and say that that was your favorite thing ever that's what i've learned about uh our our conversations <laughs> I've played Devil May Cry, though it's, again, some games lend themselves to streams better than others, is what I've learned. Thank you, Brent's Galley. Yeah, Fable did not age well. Um, but yeah, I'll, I, I might do Black Mesa just because I've never played it and I want to see it, so... You guys hopefully want to be interested in coming along for the ride to see how that ties into what we just did. Because it would be essentially a prequel to the game that we just played, you could consider it. <laughs> we'll see if I like it. I could probably burn through it. If it was like, I was going to type, you don't won't age well, this means even mean even for me, Jackie said. Uh, too late. This is what I got at this point. I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh, thank you, RJ's photo. I see it'll be my first time through it, so it'll be really interesting to experiment with. I don't know if it'll be. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be a more than one stream or not. We'll see. It depends on how it looks and how it plays. Half Life was one of those that was actually might be kind of good for stream, just because <laughs> LA Noir VR is Detective Roger Davis. Um, and they, they did a good job of telling a story throughout it. So, 
Uh, all right, let's see. Blah, 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 the thing. Uh, all right, story time is Owl Girl requested an edited excerpt from Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. An edited excerpt. Interesting. This is spoken by Kaz, who is calmly beating up a lot of people who betrayed them. Calmly beating up a lot of people. I don't know if there's efforts in here or what. Kaz. I don't know if he's got an accent or what. I feel like he's, he's something. <clears throat> I didn't come here looking for friends, and I'm not here for the washed up codgers and cowards or the losers who think the barrel owes them something for managing to stay alive. I came for the killers, the hard ones, the hungry ones, the people like me. This is my gang, and I'm done taking orders. When was the last time you saw Per Haskell take a punch, lead a job? Hell, when was the last time you saw him out of his bed before noon? You wanted everything I've brought your, to your door, Haskell. You'd still be running the same penny poor cons and drinking water down whiskey if it wasn't for me. These walls would be falling down around your head. You've taken every bit of money and luck I've handed you, and you let me do your fighting and your dirty work. You all benefited. You all reaped the rewards. But first chance you get, you're ready to cozy up to Pekka Rollins for the pleasure of fitting me for a noose. But I'm not angry. Not about that. Do you know what makes me mad? What really gets me riled? Seeing a crow taking orders from a dime lion. Watching you parade around after Pekka Rollins like it's somewhat, something to be proud of. One of the deadliest gangs in the barrel bending like a bunch of new lilies. Who do you want standing in that doorway when the lion gets hungry? A crow? Or a washed up rooster who squawks and struts and then sides with dime lion and some dirty merch against one of his own? In the barrel, we don't trade in safety. There's only strength and weakness. You don't ask for respect. You earn it. I'm not your friend. I'm not your father. I'm not going to offer you whiskey or clap you on the back and call you son. But I'm going to keep money in our coffers. I'll keep our enemies scared enough that they'll scurry when they see that tattoo on your arm. You have two minutes to get out of my house, old man. The city's price is blood, and I'm happy to pay with yours. I've read this book. Hmm, I've read that. What is that? Crooked Kingdom. I know I've read that. I recognize the characters, the stories. I don't But it's eluding me a little bit. Kingdom. Six of Crows. It's going to be on Netflix, though. Rishaverse. Hmm. I, I've definitely read those books, though most of it escapes me. So, oh well. I guess I can read them again now. Because obviously I don't remember them. Uh, thank you, Gorgeous. <laughs> thank you, Fellow Crux. Thank you, Cherry Blossom Boy. I appreciate it. For those of you that missed on Off Topic, I did the I did a real solid anime trope with these glasses. So you'll have to tune in and check that out on the video version. Uh, thank you, Mira, Mara 2 Jade. Uh, and why Schnee? And Microbile. Try it out plant side too. I have not. I don't think. Well, yeah. If we did a sponsored video in it a long time ago, but we had some trouble because we were just getting shot immediately. So we didn't weren't able to really partake of the game all that much. <laughs> I did the trope good. Thank you, Megan. I appreciate that. Uh all right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Please stay safe. Take care of each other. Uh it's still crazy out there. Don't think it's over. We need to just stay batting down for the time being. And uh, that way we can get through this faster. Which is technically slower in a weird twist. So uh, 
I'll be back Tuesday. I hope you uh, come check out our Achievement Hunter stream tomorrow uh, on f the Friday stream. I think we're doing... I know we're doing Seven Days to Die. I don't know if there's a lead into it. It may just be all seven days. It could also be that they were throwing in something else before that. Um, I think our schedule is public now, but I don't remember if it changed. GTA 5. Okay. Looks like maybe there'll be some GTA and then seven days. So uh, hopefully I'll see most of you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. And the lights are here to stay. Don't worry. <laughs>